Karth is a dark elf beast master whose hobby is traveling around the world catching monsters to add to his collection. Imagine Ash Ketchum, but instead of befriending Pokemon, he captures torches and breaks monsters to do his bidding. Because of his need to catch them all, Rakard is able to capture and instantly recruit monsters into his army. This can be done in four ways. Raising or occupying settlements, raiding specific terrain, special missions, and performing rites. Capturing any settlement belonging to Norska, the Elven races, the Greenskins, and the Lizardmen will grant different monsters for each faction. So for example, a Norsen settlement will get you a Feral Mammoth, a Lizardman settlement will get you either a Stegodon or a Carnosaur, a Wood Elf or a High Elf settlement that will get you a Dragon, and a Greenskin settlement that will get you an Explosive Squig. The second option is to raid specific regions. Certain units can only be captured under special conditions. The Manticore can be captured through raiding a region with a high level of Chaos Corruption, while a Hydra can only be found in mountainous regions. Most low-end units can be captured through raiding, with cold ones and stegodons being found in jungles and deserts, while giant wolves are found in the wooded regions of the Old World. There are exceptions, however, namely Medusas and Harpies. Harpies are pretty easy to get, you just need to win any land battle with a high amount of casualties on either side. They, d they don't really mind, they're not really that picky. While Medusas, they require special randomised missions, making them a little bit more tricky to get. The third and least reliable option is through special random missions. The reason I said that they are the least reliable is that they don't appear too often, and they usually require you capturing a well defended settlement. However, these missions are usually worth the effort with high-end units as the reward as well as small buffs. The fourth and final method is through the Convocation of Hunters Right to send out novice hunters to one of four locations, each of them giving you monsters of different races. Starting with the most expensive and in my opinion the most worthwhile option, the sorceresses of Grand cost 1500 gold and 300 slaves to perform, but guarantees a powerful high tier beast alongside a 25% buff to magic resistance. The downside aside from the initial cost to pick this option is the 15 turn cooldown, which makes this more of a investment. The second option is the beast markets which have a high chance of returning with six low-end beasts but have a slim chance of returning with a hydra or a dragon it also comes with a 25 percent cost reduction when recruiting hydras manticores and harpies third option is the cheapest of the four costing nothing to perform this usually always grants the player with wolves and squigs the fourth and final option for the right is the blustering expedition which has a high chance of returning with feral cold ones and stegodons but has a small chance of bringing back a carnosaur and with it a buff to the recruitment rank of cold ones bear in mind the level of your lord affects the beast you'll receive when you capture a settlement or raid a region so a level 10 lord might get you giant wolves or feral cold ones when they capture a settlement while a level 40 lord is more likely to get dragons or carnosaurs consistently so the higher the lord level is the greater the chances of getting better monsters will be this probability can be further increased through Rakath's skill tree, giving him a higher chance of getting a better unit. After capturing your beast, you're pretty much set. As long as you're within your own or friendly territory, you can instantly recruit them, providing you have the amount of money. So that's pretty much it for Rakath's mechanics. They essentially work the same as Regiments of Renown or the Vampire Raised Dead mechanic. Uh, with slight differences here and there, but the premise is pretty much the same. And that's pretty much all I have to say about Ricard and his mechanics. Well, I hope you learned something today, and as always, have a fantastic day.